Praise the Lord. God says this is the set time for your life. This is the appointed time of the Lord for your life. God bless you amazingly. Thank you for being a part of this session. Whether you're family or joining us new, you're welcome. And I pray for you that as you stay connected to this session, as you receive this word, God is going to give you the anointing to understand times and seasons in the name of Jesus. And I declare you will not lose your moments. You will not lose your opportunity because the grace of God that helps you understand times and seasons will rest upon you today as you stay connected to this session in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the Lord says it is your set time. There have been a lot of people wondering, how do I identify the set time of God for my life? Oh, I've been hearing of divine appointments. I've been hearing of God's set times. I've been hearing of Kairos moments. But how do I identify when it is the time of God for my life? How do I know when it is the set time of God for my life? The Bible tells us one thing in 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. It tells us that the sons of Issachar were men who had understanding of the seasons and the times, and they knew what Israel ought to do at every point in time. The sons of Issachar were men who had understanding of times and seasons. Why? Because they knew what Israel ought to do at every point in time. So how do you know that it is the set time of God for your life? It is when God reveals to you what you are supposed to do to get what you have been promised. There is a promise of God over your life, financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough, healing, deliverance, a fruitful life, a prosperous life, the moment God reveals to you what you are supposed to do in order to walk in that reality, to enter that reality, that is the set time of God for your life. The set time of God for your life is when God reveals to you what you should be doing to get what he has promised you. Because to every promise, there is an instruction. So if you do not get the instruction, you do not benefit of the promise. But the moment the instruction comes, that is God telling you, act now. That is God telling you, this is your season. That is God telling you, this is your moment. That is God telling you, this is your chance. This is your opportunity. Time and chance has met for you. Opportunity has come your way. That is God saying, act now. That is God saying, claim it now. That is God saying, this is your time. So one is easy way you know that God has ushered you into a new season is that he tells you just what you need to do. That is why prophetic instructions are very important and anybody who receives instructions and ignores them or minimizes them is not ready for what God has promised them. Because when God wants to usher you into what he has promised, then he helps you to be able to understand the times and the seasons you are in and to know what to do at that particular moment in order to get what you have been promised. So every time you receive a prophetic word, that is God telling you what you ought to be doing at the moment to get what he has promised you. Every time an instruction comes to you, that is a clear proof that this is the time of God. If it comes concerning marriage, it means this is the time when God is interested in your marriage. If, if it comes concerning your job, it means this is the time God is interested about my job. If it comes concerning your finances, concerning your health, your marriage, it means this is my time. This is my divine moment. This is my opportunity that God has given me to reap of his promises. So how do you identify your Kairos moments? God gives you an instruction. He tells you what you ought to be doing at that time in order to get what you have been promised. So when God reveals it to you, that is the set time of God for your life. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the anointing and the grace to understand times and seasons come upon you in the name of Jesus. Right now, I release that anointing upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you will not lose your moments. You will not lose your opportunities because you would always be aware of what God wants you to do at every point in your life in order to get what he has promised you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you amazingly. Pastor Igwe loves you and I'll see you in the next session. Shalom.